So, hello YouTube. Welcome to my channel. <clears throat> Again, Pop Culture Tube, where we like to um, show things that are trending and etc., etc., memes, whatever. Unfortunately, I'm wondering why my videos never go anywhere. One of the reasons is, and I'm realizing this, look at what's trending. Fashion, top picks by YouTube movies, Jason Paradise, this guy. Game consoles, Bon Appetit magazine, whatever. Movie trailers, late night shows, and SpongeBob, this guy who's gotten way too popular. Okay, that's a good example of what we got so far. So the reason these are trending, and I, I have to wonder why, what makes them trending? Well, look at this, and this, and this. But we're not really talking about this. Or this! We're talking about this! It's actually all about the presentation of the way the videos are designed. The way these videos are made, they have a catchy thumbnail, a catchy title, a catchy presentation. They're uploaded every so often. And look how many views. 20,000 views in 5 hours. 1.4 million views in 2 months. 3 months, 11 million views. It's freaking ridiculous. So what you need to do is find a video. Spend the day with me, Paris. Well, that's a bad example. You need to find some video related to gaming, related to whatever you're into. Like this guy. You could learn to play memes on Guitar Hero. Not going to work. I'm not good at Guitar Hero. You could learn to... Do this, and that's a little bit of a stretch. This, 3DS and Xbox One, except it doesn't work anymore because that was two years ago and they patched it. Um, what would work... Let's see. What would work? What would work? Some gameplay footage of a game like Call of Duty, the greatest shooter game ever made. Only problem is, people are so good at it that when I play, I look like crap. So what we're going to do is we're going to subscribe to this guy. Just kidding. We are going to um, we're going we're gonna to play one of his videos, see what he's doing differently. And we're just going to make a quick comparison here. So let's see what this guy does. He is spamming the Spaz 12. He just happens to be very good. Right, he failed right there. Spamming, 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 gets killed. Spamming, spamming, spamming. So he's either using a very good modded controller, or an aimbot, or he's just very, very good at the game, and he's learned and practiced enough to the point where he's getting ridiculously good at the game. Which is also insane, because look at this, like, boom, boom. Boom, every time he turns around the corner, boom, four, five, six. He gets six shots in a row or something. So what's the problem with this? A video like this, it grabs your attention for the first 50 seconds, and he gets all the ad clicks he needs from the ads to get him his 396,000 views, 5,000 likes, a number of dislikes, and of course, he gets his revenue. What do I get? I don't get crap. So going over to my channel, Pop Culture Tube, with 682 subscribers, which are inactive for some freaking reason, I have this one video. 100,000 views three years ago, based on a meme of Family Guy with the phone down the stairs. Everybody liked it. Okay, that's great. How come it didn't go viral? Here's the problem. It didn't go viral because of copyright. Since Fox and all the people who work at Fox decided... Oh, let's not allow this particular video, which is copyrighted, but we'll allow other copies of the video, which other people have posted, that have more than a million views, more than five million views, to go viral. They'll allow that and allow people to get their ad revenue. I will never receive ad revenue for this particular video, which is a shame because I thought it was a very good idea or an attempt at a good idea to make a good video. Now... Let's talk about something else. Old content. Content originality, like this. Old George Lucas interview. Stuff people haven't seen before. Stuff like corn pudding in two minutes in Ultra HD. Stuff like, uh, what's a good example? Give me a second here.
This one got 1,500 viewers because I spammed the fact that Luke Perry died and used that as a way to, um, in the hash, not in the hashtag, in the tag for the video, said they, quote, paid tribute to Luke Perry, and it got 1,500 views. No one commented, which is a shame. No one disliked, no one liked, but at least it worked for a while, and then you realize, of course, you get no money from the ad revenue. No ads at all, actually. So I've posted tons of stuff over the years. None of it's gone anywhere, really. Yeah, some of it gets 1,500, uh, 5,000 views, 4,500 views, whatever. You don't get quite the amount of views you would think you'd be getting for these memes, for the video game related content, and the, uh, the popular content that goes on throughout YouTube. So what I'm thinking of doing is something that should have been done a long time ago. Uh, giving up. Which means I'm going to right click, right click, uh, left click up here, go down to settings. I'm going to hit account settings, viewer change your account settings, and I'm going to hover over data personalization. Scroll down to delete or service your account. Hover over delete your account, and we're going to click it in three, two, ready? You guys want to see me click it? Click, and that is how I will go viral by almost deleting my account, just like PewDiePie did. The, you know what, he is total piece of crap he is. And that is how I will go viral by pretending to delete my account, like PewDiePie did. Total piece of crap he is with freaking billions of subscri subscribers who he doesn't deserve, and, uh, you know, he could care less about the community. He just posts things all the time to troll people. So there you go. No matter what you post, and no matter what you try to do, you will never be able to catch up with what actually is trending, like these guys who no one cares about, like this guy, like uh, this guy with this famous song, which has probably become a meme. And it's a shame, because no matter what you do, you'll never get to be quite the guy on YouTube, because someone else has already thought of it first, no matter what you frickin' try.